my name is Alex and you're watching the Linux Realm. Today we look at OpenSUSE Linux, a distro that I haven't had a chance to look at in a long time. But before we log in we have the GNOME Wayland, the GNOME with XOG and the ICE Window Manager. You can pick one from the login screen. Now inside here is the GNOME desktop which is my favorite and we have the app drawer right there, the dock at the bottom and to begin with you open the welcome screen where you presented with uh, the details about this OS if you're new now if we go to readme information about nvidia drivers and gnome browser which are proprietary and there's information on how to download those if you need them we also get the information about gnome help and how to support the distro now here we have the GNOME layout, on the left is the code corner, we have the calendar at the middle and the power menu on the right. If you go to settings you can see the OS name right there, OpenSUSE Leap 15.6. Then under system details you can see the OS name as well. Then the GNOME version which is 45.3. Then the Linux kernel is 6.4.0. And as mentioned earlier, I'm using Wayland. If we go to appearances, you can see we have the light mode, which is currently what I have. But you can also get the dark mode, which looks amazing. But for now, let's stick with the light mode. Now back to the, the home page, we have the dock right here at the bottom. The classic GNOME desktop. Now let's look at the system monitor and we can see the resource usage is very low my cpu is very low and memory as well is about 1.3 gb next we go to the terminal and here let's try to run neofetch and it looks like nothing is installed let's try fast fetch and this one too is not installed then we have the gnome software which is where you should get most of your sof most of your software if you're new to the OpenSUSE Linux distro and here we have the ways to update software you can also check the software repositories you can enable and disable whichever ones you want then we get uh, under preferences you can decide whether to auto update or have show a license licensed softwares only then under about you can see the GNOME software is based on GNOME 45.2 then we have the YAST package manager which I believe is a package manager that is used on OpenSUSE. You can see the details about the package manager right here. Be sure to navigate. So we have so softwares, hardware, system, network, security, and so forth. There's also an aspect of virtualization. So this is the YAST control center. Then under utilities, you get the usual disk analyzer, disks, document viewer, and so forth. Then we go to YAST modules and here you can see yast alternative install yast on vm and most stuff related to yast you also get the yast firewall which i believe we should check out for now let's check this out and this one is a bit complicated it's not like the ufw firewall if you need to configure anything you can give it a try i am going to leave it as it is also we have the styling aspect here which is styling sheet selections so you can select installation queue, high contrast, or the cyan black QS, but let's stick with style QSS. Now let's go to uh, the file manager. This is the GNOME file manager. It's based on GNOME 45.2 and it's usual on all GNOME desktops. So it's the usual Nautilus file manager. Then again, let's look at the YAST software management. I believe this is where the packages are uh, updating together to the repositories and then for browser here we have firefox as the only browser remember if you need chrome uh, chromium or any other browser you can also download them and finally we look at the LibreOffice, which is the document editor or text editor and for this one let's look at its version and the current version is 24.2.1 and yeah you can use this one for your text editing now let's change the background 
yeah and uh, that's open source for you if you like the video make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and see you on the next one